They told me I wouldn't live past 30. An R&B star battles back from the brink of death. There's plenty of times I could have died. Times I've been in ICU. Times my heart almost stopped. When Celebrity Medical Nightmares returns. At the age of seven, recording artist Tion Watkins, a.k.a. T-Boz, was given a virtual death sentence. They told me I wouldn't live past 30. T-Boz's medical nightmare began when she experienced sharp, dagger-like pains in her legs and hands. It would stop me from walking if it hurt my legs or if my arms hurt. I can't hold anything, <laughs> a pencil, a glass. Finally, doctors figured out what was wrong with Tion. She had sickle cell disease. Sickle cell is a devastating disease. It's an inherited genetic disorder uh, whereby the shape of the blood cells is actually changed. Normal people's red blood cells are circular. Ours take on an S shape, meaning oxygen doesn't flow through our bloodstream. And so when that happens, they call that a crisis. When a crisis happens, your blood clots, they have to give you IV fluids to flush your blood so you can get oxygen to your organs. Sickle cell is one of the most common genetic diseases in the United States. In order for a child to get the disease, both parents have to carry the trait. Typical warning signs of sickle cell disease include anemia, swollen hands and feet, and frequent infections. It's a big issue in the African-American community because one in 12 African-Americans carries the trait. The future music superstar had solid support in battling her illness. My mother made me feel good about myself. She didn't treat me like I was handicapped or sick. She pushed me to do things that she knew I could do. t -Boz followed her dream of becoming a recording artist. In 1991, she joined the girl group TLC. Hello, everybody. But kept quiet about her condition. I don't like people to pity me. I'm strong. I can deal with this. I don't like people saying, oh, I feel so bad for her. Life ain't that bad. t -Boz and TLC hit the charts and became one of the best-selling girl groups of all time. But the demands of recording and touring took a toll on Tion. I chose to be an artist. Where you stay stressed, you don't eat right. t -Boz often suffered from anemia because her sickle-shaped blood cells couldn't carry enough oxygen and iron through her body. I have never made it through a tour without going to the hospital. And we dance hard. And you know, sometimes my lungs are weak. In 1996, during TLC's Crazy Sexy Cool Tour, the 26-year-old singer collapsed. I was wore out. I was tired. My body just gave out. t -Boz ended up in the hospital for two months. I've been through so much with sickle cell that I've never told people. There's plenty of times I could have died. Times my heart almost stopped. The incident proved to be a much-needed wake-up call. Tian started taking better care of herself. She watched her diet, made sure to drink plenty of water, and stayed away from germs. I'm like the cootie man. Like, if you have cooties and look at me, I'll probably catch it, because our immune systems are really low. t has got another reason to keep fighting. When against the odds, she turned 30 and became a mother in the year 2000. They told me I wouldn't live past 30. I'm 38. They told me I would never have kids. My daughter's eight. Having my daughter has really helped me as far as, like, having something to live for, because really, I was really taking a lot of risks with my health when I didn't have her. Though Tion's daughter, Chase, is a carrier for sickle cell, she is at no risk of developing the disease herself. In 2005, t -Boz became the national spokesperson for the Sickle Cell Disease Association of America. I'm still raising money to uh, try and find a cure. There's no cure for sickle cell, and that's why I am the national spokesperson. I want to live and see my daughter have kids. I want to be a grandmother. I want to stay here, too. There are medications that help manage the disease, but the most important factors are preventive. Now I got to work out. I'm like, ah. Uh. But, you know, to keep my heart healthy, I'll stay here longer. And I've found some holistic vitamins that work for me. So I'm always drinking a vitamin drink, popping pills. And really, that's my regimen. Still, t -Boz believes in the power of positive thinking. Sickle cell is no longer a teenage death sentence. In the 1970s, average age of survival was 14. Now, the average age of survival for someone in, with sickle cell anemia in the United States is in their 50s. Try different things to see what works for you. Because you don't have to die like that. It's not always so. That's not true. I'm living proof. I'm a miracle baby. <laughs>